Now we will discuss spherical harmonics. What are spherical harmonics? V is you remember that our phi was a function of r theta and phi. So we converted this into u as a function of r, t as a function of theta, and q as a function of phi and the separation of variable. Now this one is the angular portion and this one is the radial portion. So the angular portion we remember that it was a coupled equation between theta and phi with L and M is the constant and this one gave us the solution of E plus minus I M phi and this one gave the for only theta it gave us P L of cos theta and when M was combined with this then it gave us P L M of cos theta and combinedly these two means this one and this one we write is y lm and theta and phi and we call these y lms is the spherical harmonics which actually cover the uh, angular portion of the Laplace equation so is we have determined all the constants so we can write that y ln function of theta and phi equals this thing is we define them that they are equal to this 2l plus 1 and this is by 4 pi L minus M factorial divided by L plus M factorial and P L M of cos theta and E I M phi and this one is inside a square root. So we have this is the spherical harmonic because the PLM here remember that PLM of cos theta we wrote the constant is 2L plus 1 over 2 L minus M whole factorial means this was the ln constant over L plus M and whole factorial inside a square root while for the pi for the pi we got the normalization is 1 over 2 pi and e i m phi so if we multiply this and this we will get 2l plus 1 by 2 into 2 pi will become 4 pi l minus m l plus m factorial then p l m for the angular means the theta and phi dependence combined and this for the phi dependence so this all we call the spherical harmonics and they are normalized on they are orthonormal these are orthonormal on a unit sphere when we take a unit sphere mean the radius of the sphere is one then the angular or the angular components will be given by or the angular function is given by the spherical harmonic. 
So here we are having the x here we write for theta as less than phi less than or equal to zero and if I want to write this in terms of x then minus one less than or equal to one for x similarly the value of phi is such that phi will range between 2 pi and 0 as we are having in the spherical polar coordinates. So I can write that the Laplace equation solution 1 over sine theta curly by curly theta and then sine of theta curly by curly theta and these will be the y ln theta and phi plus 1 over sine square theta curly square phi over so for this one I will write the y ln theta and phi by curly phi squared and this is equal to minus l into l plus 1 y ln theta and phi. So this is the associated legender function and finally my phi with r and theta and phi I can write that this is equal to summation on L running from 0 to infinity and summation on M which is running from minus 1 or from minus L because it is independent to plus L and here we are having AL earlier so it will become ALM and R to the power L plus BLM that we will determine and R to the power minus L plus 1 multiplied with Y L M theta and phi. So this is the complete solution of the Laplace equation. We can put this value back there in the Laplace equation del square phi equal to zero and we will get the solution of the Laplace equation. Similarly the orthonormality the orthonormality condition is that from minus from 0 to pi then sine theta d theta and from 0 to 2 pi then d phi y l and m and this will be with prime and prime and this whole will be conjugated theta and phi multiplied with y ln and theta phi so this is l and and prime m and m prime and what is conjugated this thing is equal to delta ln prime delta ln prime so this is giving us the orthogonality condition and i can write this in terms of x as well because as i have supposed or this thing we know that this is equal to for a unit sphere x equal 
cos theta and then dx will be equal to minus sin theta d theta. So I can write that I can write that from minus 1 to plus 1 dx and from 0 to 2 pi and similarly the same will be repeated d phi then y l and m with prime and conjugate then y l m without the prime is equal to delta l l prime delta m m prime now what are actually the spherical harmonics the spherical harmonics are the angular functions are uh, we say that they are the theta and phi dependent functions they govern the angular part of the laplace equation while the radial part is separate which is here however their constants are being modified earlier they were a l and b l when we consider only the radial part then the radial part was a and b and when radial part was combined with one of the portion from the angular part which is theta then l and l came in with them and when they were combined with the other angular part which is phi then a the constant modified to ln and ln it is rather very hard to understand the spherical harmonics without the graphical representation or the mod square of the spherical harmonics but in a couple of days we will be starting chapter 4 chapter 4 in introduction to quantum mechanics and over there we will solve the Schrodinger wave equation for the hydrogen atom the Schrodinger wave equation for hydrogen atom and is the Schrodinger wave equation is a second order differential equation like our Legendre equation and over there we will come to discuss the spherical harmonics and over there the things become more clear that the radial part here is we are having the radial part actually gives the principal quantum number which is L while the L gives the orbital quantum number and similarly when magnetic field is there we are having ml quantum number similarly m will give the spin quantum number and in the with the application of the magnetic field we will have the magnetic spin quantum number these quantum numbers are well understood when we solve Schrodinger wave equation or a second order differential equation which is also like the second order differential equation of the Laplace. So over there we will discuss when we will solve these parts is these are very really the basic discussion. So we will do it in quantum mechanics and one can consult to understand all these derivations over there. Although we will not derive the solutions but we will write the solution directly there but we will interpret them graphically as well as uh, some interpretation will be there similarly we will discuss the spherical harmonics which are the y ln theta and phi and over there our function will be a wave function 
and we will plot individual spherical harmonics. We will also discuss the uh, sine mod square which we have here is y l m theta phi mod square which will give us the probability of these we will relate them we will relate them the like y 0 0 when l is 0 when m is 0 and theta phi with the s orbit the spherically symmetric orbit similarly we will see that these functions when they are plotted they are giving us the s p d f and these orbits so all these similarities and the very basic interpretation we will discuss over there and over there in the quantum mechanics it is very easy to understand the physical interpretation are the science behind the second order differential equation solution. So in a couple of weeks we will start with this and I will suggest to follow those lectures as well for the better understanding of all this. In electrodynamics it is a bit uh, difficult to understand but over there it is very easy to get into things.